By the way, my wife doesn't like these any more now than she did before. And yeah, I'm bringing the hair back. Uh, I just went through voice jail and it was with a real person. So this is kind of a business tip thing. They, I, I love the fact this group's got a, um, an actual live voice receptionist. I love it. It's great. But uh, when you call, you're supposed to be a, 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 con a conduit, a conduit, which is like a, a traveling thing. Think Elon Musk. Uh, boring company. Boring. I probably wouldn't name my company boring. Like it's, I call it the upbeat company, but that's a whole different thing. Anyway, I get a hold of this gal and I'm asking, I'm trying to send a, an offer out on a building. That's what I do. Um, and it was like calling Fort Knox. So anyway, if you're going to answer the phone, try to facilitate the flow of information. Don't be a, 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 a dam, a wall, a barrier. See what happens? Barriers keep things out. They keep things out. They don't let information go back and forth. I'm not going to even go there, but uh, that's a whole different chat. Again, when I, when I call on the phone, I don't really care what you do with anybody else, but when I call on the phone, can you put me through to Eric, please? Thanks.